In today's video, I would like to show you how to set up the management profile on Palo Alto Firewall. I would like to show you how to access the firewall from a data interface. As you can see in my lab, uh, I'm accessing my Palo Alto Firewall through my management station and through their management interface, which is preferred option because Firewall have a separate architecture for the management interface and for the data interface. That means if the firewall get cooked, for example, by the uh, DDoS, you st still should be able to access the firewall on the management interface because it's on separate memory and a CPU. But in many infrastructure, uh, you will need to access the firewall on its data interface. What I mean by data interface is the interfaces through which is the traffic is passing. By default, this is not possible. And what you have to do is to set up management profile and apply it to a data interface and enable SS, SSH or HTTPS access to that, to that interface. In my previous video, I showed you how to enable a ping to the data interface. And this will be the same process. We will just uh, enable additional services on that interface. And on the end of this video, we should have access from this workstation onto the, this firewall and that's not through the management um, interface. So let's start up. As you see my lab, I'm connected to my management station. I'm already on, on my firewall. If I look on the this user station, which is my next Linux machine, you can see I can ping the interface. The firewall interface is 10.10.10.1. I can ping it, but when I try to access it through the web browser, it will just timed out. Uh, I can ping it because in my previous video, we set up the ping profile for that interface. And if we go back to the firewall configuration, we can see on my LAN interface, the one we're trying to ping here, Ethernet 1 slash 2, it's a sub interface the, with a dot uh, one QE LAN. Uh, is this LAN interface, we're trying to ping the IP address is 10.10.10.1, which is responding well. And we have applied a management profile, what is called ping. If I go to interface management, it's under the network, network profiles, interface management. We can see there's a ping profile set already. This is what we said in our previous video, which only allows a ping. But now I would like to set up the profile so we can access that file on that interface. So it will be the same process. I will just click add, uh, call my profile something. Uh, empty, for example, management LAN. And I want to enable HTTPS, SSH, and I want to allow the ping. I also want to uh, uh, sort of some protect the uh, um, access so I only allowed it from my uh, LAN subnet, which in my case is a 10.10.0 slash 24. I'm not typing, sorry, 10.10.0 slash slash 24. That's my LAN subnet. I click OK to that. So we have our management profile, we set up HTTPS, SSH access, and a ping. If I go back to my interfaces, I select the interface in question for the LAN side of the firewall. Now, once the interface open, under the advanced, the management profile, we will change to new profile we created for the management LAN and Click OK. It gives you the warning that you're giving access on a data interface. Yeah, that's fine. Click yes to that. So we set up the managed profile. The last thing is the commit the configuration and test it. I just move my picture here. Click commit. Commit. And the comment started. Please, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It will help me to grow it. Thanks. Now, comment has completed. I close the window. We go back to our uh, user machine. I can still see, I can still ping the firewall, which is a good, good sign. And see if I can log into the firewall. That looks promising. 
yes i can log in let's select my admin password now and i'm logged into the firewall onto uh, using the data interface on a on the land side the last thing i wanted to try is we also we enable https we've seen the ping is working we also enable ssh so let's try ssh admin Yes, and I'm connected to the SSH. So now you know how to access the Palo Alto firewall through its data interface. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.